An estimated 95% of Americans will have sex before marriage. Tonight, we're taking a look at girls whose families urge a different path. Girls who pledge not to kiss or have sex until they marry. And fathers who pledge to be their daughter's boyfriends until they find them a man worth marrying. So, exactly what are these purity promises? And can they be kept? Bye, I love you. When you go into middle school, it's like you want to get a boyfriend before you go up to high school, where it's like you need to have a boyfriend in order to be cool. But Caroline Johnson won't have a boyfriend. Not now, not in high school, not until she's ready to marry. Because already at age 12, she's taken a vow of purity. And it's not just about sex. No dating. Kissing? No. <laughs> I just want to make sure my first kiss is with the guy I'm going to be with forever. Unthinkable for a lot of kids her age, but not for the other kids at her church. Culture's going to challenge you really fast. Really quick. What do you mean you're not dating? They're going to say, what well, you, you're weird. <laughs> Caroline's father, Ron, is the pastor. Each of her older siblings has already taken the purity vow. I want one husband and one husband alone, and I want to have a successful marriage, and so I feel like if you date in high school, it's just setting you up for a divorce or practicing divorce. I had so many friends. They were talking to me like, oh, Caroline, do you have a boyfriend? We all do and everything. Like, we should, like, double date or something. It's like, I... Like, I don't you need a boyfriend, have a yeah. Boyfriend. It's your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a boyfriend because I have my dad that's already filled by a man. And Jesus. Yeah, and Jesus. <laughs> you talk about yourself as your daughter's boyfriend. That's going to have a lot of people <sighs> make an awful lot of people uncomfortable. It's way too Freudian. How do you. See, this, this is what I find absolutely humorous in our culture today where something as pure as a daddy going out with his daughter on a date is twisted to make it seem like, as you mentioned, Freudian. I wasn't thinking about Freud at all. I was thinking about having a great time with my daughter. You know, I encouraged my daughters to come sit on my lap. We snuggle, we sit by the fireplace. There's absolutely nothing sexual in that, in that whole experience. But if you talk to adolescent psychiatrists, what they say is the whole point of adolescence is for children to separate from their parents, to become independent, to seek your own kind of path. What do you make of that? And I hear all that, but I think Jesus was better than Freud. I, I like his counsel better. <laughs> Father, we just thank you for allowing our family to be together tonight, Lord. The eldest Wilson sister, Lauren, kept her own vow of purity until she married Aaron, now the youth pastor at their church. Now, had you had a girlfriend before? I had had a girlfriend before. May I ask, had you had intercourse? Um, at, at one point, I was compromised, and I did lose my virginity, and that was something that really shook who I was as a person. I lost sight of things. One, two, Three, go! It's become part of my testimony, and I've helped several young people go through this. My story is, hey, if you've done this, there's restoration, and there's a way to be made whole and made new. And if you haven't done this, hey, here's my story. Don't do this. Let me tell you what it's like on the other side. Do you think you could walk this purity path if it weren't for the church? Um, I definitely think it'd be really hard, because just I feel like if I didn't have my friends at church knowing that they are going through the same thing as I am, I feel like I'd feel so alone and I feel like I'd give up. But as we're about to see, the Johnson girls are not so alone after all. They're headed to Colorado to the 14th annual Father-Daughter Purity Ball, where 60 like-minded fathers will pledge to protect their daughters. The event was started by Randy Wilson with his own five daughters in mind. What I hear from young ladies is there's this need for that physical touch. 
and from a male being. That's, I believe, the father role is. Randy's daughter, Jordan, is attending with her new husband. She says the first time she ever kissed anyone was a few months ago, in church, on her wedding day. Okay, I have to admit that when I kissed my husband on my wedding day, it was not the first time. <laughs> what is it like when it's the first time? <laughs> it was just like, ah, I can't believe this is happening. And in front of everyone, it was a little like, okay, you can't mess up on a kiss. You know exactly where the lips are. So that you just plan it on it. But come on, did you worry a little bit? What if we're not compatible? I mean, everybody doesn't kiss the same way. No. No, none no. of that. Nope, <laughs> I didn't. So you guys aren't worried about that either? No. 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 You figure whoever you pick is going to be, that's going to be fine. It'll take care of itself. <laughs> Everybody's yes. a great kisser. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows how to kiss. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ron has a special gift for Caroline before they all head to the ball. I'm ready for you, dear. You look lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, you are uh, growing up before your daddy's eyes. One of the things that you were talking to daddy about um, was when am I gonna get my purity ring? And um, one of the things that I think is important for us to remember is this is your desire to do it the Lord's way, to really save yourself from kissing a lots, lots of toads along the way and wait for your Prince Charming to come along. And he's gotta pass through your dad. Uh, and dad's gotta put the stamp of approval on him. Because uh, dads are really smart and they can separate princes from toads really well. Let me uh, show you the ring that I got for you here. And when somebody comes along who is ready and has the proper character and will treat you like a queen, then that's the guy that passes the test. And until then, this is just a reminder keeping yourself pure is important. And so you keep that on your finger and it's a daily reminder that you're, at this point, you're married to the Lord and, uh, and your father is your boyfriend. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna have fun together. And let me go ahead and give you that. Get ready to dance the night away. We decide tonight that we will pour into the hearts of our daughters. We will be the standard for their lives and all their future men. Fathers, will you stand with me? Will you stand together in this accord? Let's take those covenants in the middle of your table. I choose before God to cover my daughter as her authority and protection in the area of purity. I will lead, guide, and pray over my daughters as the high priest in my home. There's a pen in the middle of your paper. Pick that up and sign that. And then have your daughters witness that. It says on the document, is the high priest in my home. What's that mean? There is a hierarchy of levels of authority, and we believe in the home. The Father sits at that place. I think that there are moments in life that need to be extravagant. This celebrates the strength of a father, his love for the daughter, and it creates one of those moments that she will never have again. This is the night that she will always have with her daddy. I wonder if there aren't kids who, for one reason or another, couldn't live up to the expectations that you have for your children. What happens to them when they feel they've failed in this purity journey? All life is about redemption. Uh, we all mess up, misstep, uh, make mistakes that are bigger than others. But it's all about getting back up and going after it again. So and you wouldn't disown one of your kids if someone oh came Oh my home. goodness, absolutely not. Oh, absolutely not. I think the best thing we can do is to, to gather up and walk with. If my life and what we're sharing with people is so bizarre, why am I so in love with my wife? Why have we had 30 amazing years of marriage? Why do my kids all love one another and love us? You know, I think you have to look at that. Father, I pray a covering for them. Father, protect them as they go. For each one of these daughters, godly men that you will bring. <laughs>